What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Mamsi Goose Gaming and Call of Duty just revealed the season 3 roadmap and man oh man it is absolutely absolutely a massive season and when I mean massive I mean massive we have a combined of 9 multiplayer maps, new raid episode, new warzone content and plenty plenty more and if you guys are excited for season 3 make sure to see for the like button, 15 Call of Duty make sure to subscribe, turn on notification bell and join the notification squad without further ado let's get right into it and as always let's start off with the multiplayer section first and this time season 3 has absolutely absolutely amazing content for multiplayer we have 3 core maps and also a fourth unannounced core map coming in the mid-season update. Our first multiplayer map is gonna be none other than Palo's Lighthouse and will be coming at launch. Of course, we saw this map in the first season 3 teaser with Face Dirty using the intervention. Our second 6v6 map is gonna be Black Gold and this will be available at launch as well. And this map will be the first nighttime map where we'll have to use night vision goggles, something similar to the Modern Warfare 2019 night maps. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, they were not exactly the best. They were super, super dark. It was pretty much pitch black. You cannot see anything. I'm not sure how this will work in Modern Warfare 2, let's hope it works better than Modern Warfare 2019, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And this map is actually also based on the Rohan All section of Almazra Warzone 2 map. We move on to our third 6v6 multiplayer map, and it's called Al Boran Hatchery. This map will be coming in season, and if you guys have played the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, this map should look very, very familiar because it is based on the old Gilead Up 2.0 in the campaign. And also, they've announced a fourth brand new core map or 6v6 map. Now, we don't have any more details, all they said is it will be released in the mid season update. Along Alongside those 4 6v6 maps, we also be getting 2 new Grand War maps. First of all, it's gonna be Rohan Oil, again it is the one in Almazra Warzone 2 map. And for our second Grand War map, it's gonna be the Sati Cave Complex, again this is another Warzone 2 section made into a Grand War map. And both of the Grand War maps will be releasing at launch. Now let's move on and of course talk about the gunfight mode, it is finally here, it is finally releasing in Season 3. And it will also be coming alongside its own 4 new gunfight maps. Our first gunfight map is called Ali and this one is a small marketplace. Our second gunfight map is called black side and the interesting thing about this map it will also be the new gulag for warzone 2 that is quite interesting if i say so myself we move on to our third gunfight map and it's gonna be shipment the one that we currently have in modern warfare 2 and finally our fourth gunfight map is called exhibit now unfortunately we don't have any images of it but they said it's gonna be one of the four maps that will be launching at launch of season 3 alongside all of that gunfight osp will also be available in the mid-season update it's gonna be a playlist update and gunfight osp is pretty much the same gunfight that we all know and love but instead of been given a random loadout in this game mode you'll have to pick up a random weapons from the ground and use that in the gunfight game otherwise everything else is the same as your normal gunfight mode now let's move on and talk about the new operators that will be arriving in season 3 of course as we already know alejandro will be one of the new operators who will be available in the battle pass alongside valeria again another campaign character will also be available in the battle pass which is absolutely amazing but these two new operators are not the only ones coming in season 3 no the blog post mentions that there are multiple operators who will be reinforcing the two factions in Modern Warfare 2 this season and beyond. Now unfortunately there is no more details on who the new operators will be for season 3 but there will be multiple new operators coming in season 3. Next up let's talk about the weapons that will be arriving in season 3. This season will include 4 new weapons. The first weapon is going to be none other than the FJX Imperium Sniper Rifle or better known as the Intervention Sniper from Modern Warfare 2 2009. The Intervention Sniper will be available at launch via the Battle Pass and of course we all know how over powered and how iconic this weapon is so that is always always amazing we have our second weapon coming in season 3 and it's gonna be the Cronin squall battle rifle this weapon will also be available at launch via the battle pass and alongside those two weapons there'll also be two new sidearms now unfortunately there's no images for them but one of the sidearms will be a machine pistol and the second sidearm will be a high caliber pistol i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm super excited to use all of these four weapons i cannot wait to try them out and showcase it to you guys in a video next up we have the new game modes that will be arriving in season 3 of Modern Warfare 2. First of all, we have Cranked, it will be available at launch. Now, if you don't know what Cranked is, it is as simple as this. It's your normal team deathmatch, but the twist to it is once you get a kill, you will have a countdown timer. If that countdown timer reaches zero and you haven't gotten a second kill, you will simply explode. So once you get that first kill, you have to keep getting kills before the timer runs out, otherwise you will die. Our second game mode in Season 3 is gonna be Face Off, and this one will be launching in the mid-season update. And simply put, Face Off is gonna be your normal team deathmatch, kill confirmed and all that, but 3v3 instead of 6v6. For our third and final game mode in season 3 is gonna be none other than Grand War Infected and will be available in season and just as the name suggests this is gonna be your normal infected game mode but played on the Grand War maps. And to finish off the multiplayer side of things we'll be getting a new co-op mission it will be available in season. Finally after three seasons we'll be getting a new co-op mission and also in the mid-season update we'll be getting a new raid episode episode 3. I cannot wait to see what happens next. We got the return of Alex. I am super excited to see what's in store for us in the raid episode. 
episode 3. In terms of multiplayer side of things that we do, now let's move on and talk about the general content that will be coming in season 3. This simply means it will be available for both Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Season 3 will see the addition of two new events that is absolutely amazing. Our first event is called Trophy Hunt and it will begin 48 hours after launch, so two days after season 3 launch. And basically all this event is once you eliminate a player, whether in Warzone 2 or in multiplayer, the eliminated player will drop a small decorative challenge coin. And those decorative challenge coins then can be exchanged for items in the event tab. Those items can include weapon blueprints, vehicle skins, and even battle pass token tier skips. Absolutely amazing. It's gonna be a very simple event. Eliminate a player, pick up that challenge coin, and those challenge coins then can be exchanged for items in the event tab. That is absolutely amazing. And then in the mid-season update, we'll also be getting a new camo challenge event, something similar to the Path of the Ron camo challenge. In my opinion, that is absolutely amazing. We need more of this where we can earn exclusive camos just by completing those challenges. That is amazing. We will get more information about this new camo challenge event once we get closer to the mid-season reloaded update. Next up, let's move on and talk about the new battle pass offering called Black Cell. Now, this was teased in yesterday's teaser. We didn't know what it was. We thought it was going to be a DMZ faction or a mission, but no, it turns out it's going to be a new battle pass offering. You guys remember how each season for the past three years, we've gotten two battle pass offerings. We had the 1,100 cut points offering, and then we had the 2,400 cut points offering, which grant you 20 tier skips. Well, this new black cell offering is going to replace that one with the 20 tier skip. This new black cell battle pass offering will cost us $30, okay? Or whatever your country's equivalent of that will be. And it will include over 7,000 cut points of value. It will also include everything that was included in the 2,400 cut points bundle and some additional exclusive content. So if you purchase this new black cell battle pass offering, you will have access to the full season 3 battle pass and 20 tier skips or 25 tier skips if you're on PlayStation. You will get the 1,100 cut points instantly awarded to you. You will also be rewarded up to 1,400 cut points throughout the battle pass. You will also get a new black cell operator attired in an imposing animated camo skin, a pro tuned weapon blueprint, vehicle skin and a finishing move. Also an exclusive black cell sector within the battle pass AO serves as an alternative starting location, immediate unlocking of adjacent battle pass sector to the black cell sector and also additional black cell only battle pass content. Every season 3 battle pass sector with an operator skin has a black cell variant. 12 skins in total to unlock. I'm not gonna lie to you guys this sounds absolutely absolutely crazy it is stacked with content. We move on and of course as you guys know every new season comes with four new prestiges this one is gonna be no different. For season 3 we'll be going up to prestige 13, prestige 10 will be unlocked at level 500, prestige 11 will be unlocked at level 550, prestige 12 will be unlocked at level 600 and finally prestige 13 will be unlocked at level 650. That would do it for the general or the combined content between warzone 2 and mono fa2. Now let's move on and talk about the Warzone 2 only content. Warzone 2 Season 3 will feature three new game modes. First of all, it's gonna be Resurgence, but this time in Al Mazra. Now, yes, I know we already had Resurgence, but it was on Ashika Island. Now it will make its way to Al Mazra as well. And alongside Resurgence Al Mazra, we will be getting the much wanted Plunder game mode. It will arrive in season. If you guys have played Warzone 1, then you should know what Plunder is. It's pretty much similar to your normal battle royale. However, the two major differences is the fact that every time you get killed, you will simply respawn. You have infinite respawns, and to win the game, you have to collect as much cash as you can the player who has earned more cash at the end of the game will win the game and for our third and final game mode in warzone 2 is going to be none other than warzone ranked yes you heard that right warzone ranked will be making its way in season 3 reloaded update or the mid-season update unfortunately the blog post does not say more about warzone ranked all they say is that we will learn more come the mid-season reloaded update we move on and like i mentioned earlier the gulags will begin a brand new map called black side which is the same exact one as the gunfight map also the redeploy drones will be making their way in al mazra at launch now we've already seen the redeploy balloons on Ashika Island but now they'll be making their way in Al Mazra. Next up we have a return feature from Warzone 1 called the Tempered Plate Carriers and basically this one will change your armor from 3 thirds into 2 and a half bars which will make it easier and more efficient to replate after one or both of your armor have been cracked. Next up we have a DMZ feature making its way into Battle Royale and that is the UAV Towers they will be coming at launch and basically all this is there will be some UAV Towers scattered around Al Mazra. If you manage to activate those UAV Towers it will simply reveal your enemy locations that are nearby. Now let's move on and talk about the new features that will be coming in Warzone in the mid-season update. First of all we have the decontamination stations. Again if you played Warzone 1 you know what this is. Basically you will create a field of safety around you if you are on the gas. Also perk package items will be available in Warzone 2 in the mid-season update and just like the name suggests you can open supply box and you can find some perk packages. It is as simple as that. Alongside that we also have the deployable buy stations. Again the name is quite self-explanatory. It's basically a portable version of the buy 
Station. And finally, there'll also be the return of the Gulag Entry Kit. It'll be coming in season as well. And once again, just as the name suggests, even if the Gulag time has finished and you can no longer go to the Gulag, if you have a Gulag Entry Kit, then you can still fight for another chance to come back in the match. And when it comes to Warzone 2, that would do it. Now let's move on to DMZ. DMZ Season 3 will add a new feature called the Barter System. And basically what this feature is, if you've stocked on some items and you reach a buy station, then you can trade those items for some valuable rewards. And that is absolutely amazing. Another massive feature added in Season 3 of DMZ is going to be the Workbench. The Workbench can be found near buy stations and it will allow you to modify contraband weapons. Now believe me, that is going to be a game-changing feature in DMZ. It is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Alongside that, there's also the new active duty operator slots. And basically what this is, every player will start with three active duty operator slots. Each of the three operators will have their own own soldier items. And these items can include your backpack, plate carrier, kill streaks, self revive, and gas mask. And every DMZ infiltration, you can pick between one of the three operators that you have. Next up, we have a new faction arriving in DMZ. And unlike the crown faction, which is exclusive to everybody who owned Mon Warfare 2, this new faction is available for everybody. Whether you own Mon Warfare 2 or not, you will have access to this new faction for free and it will feature three missions at launch and also two more missions that will be available in season. And finally, season three of DMZ will feature some new bosses. The blog post says operators should prepare to face new threats across the various exclusion zones as there are not one but two new bosses that Intel suggests are redacted. Intel also suggests that deep underground in Al Mazra there is redacted. Oh snap, what could those redacted be? We're not sure, but I cannot wait to find out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am super excited for season three. This season is absolutely stacked and this is how each season should be. Whether you play multiplayer, DMZ or Warzone 2, there are some awesome features and new content for each game mode and that's how it should be. I am super excited for season 3. But with all that being said, thank you guys for seeing this video. If you are excited for season 3, make sure to see for the like button. 15 call of duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on notification bell and join the notification squad and I'll catch you guys later.